This is Barbara Mima. Good morning to you. Another book I finished this month. And uh, it's Better Late Than Never. That's the name of the book. It's, uh, I tell you, Jenny McKinley's uh, Library Lover's Mysteries just keep getting better and better and better. This one is uh, when the Briar Creek Public Library holds its first overdue book amnesty day, which I don't think we have here in North Little Rock. Well, no fines for late returns. The volume of in the volume of incoming materials is more than Lindsay and her staff can handle. In a bind. Lindsay drafts the Crafts Noon ladies to help check in and sort the stacks of books. But one tardy to me catches her attention. A copy of J.D. Salinger's The Catcher in the Rye. Twenty years past due. When Lindsay looked up the barrier, she's not shocked to discover it. it was a murdered teacher named Candace Whiteley, whose killer was never found. Candace checked out the no Candace had checked out the novel on the day she was murdered. Now Lindsay wonders if it could provide a clue to the dec decades old cold case. No one noticed who brought the book back. But could it be Candace's killer? Lindsay is determined to catch the culprit one way or another because justice for Candace Whiteley is long overdue. She does have some really cute story stories that she's put together. And again, this one... I, Includes reading group recommendations. So this fast moving, tricky tale that kept me guessing at every turn. A must read, as by Katie Christie, New York Times best selling author. <laughs> Perfect for cozy readers, you guys, especially at night. And I, I love a sparkling setting of lovely characters, books, knitting, and chowder. What more could a reader ask for? Mm -hmm.